the skylines of the world's biggest cities are dominated by skyscrapers. Building one is a construction project on a massive scale, but they like a challenge here in Munich, so they decided to build two, each over 100 meters high, in just 18 months. A crane driver carefully lifts the first elements into place. It comes as no surprise that when building a huge tower, all of the parts that are used are also huge. This is no exception. It's a giant 9-meter steel strut. The struts are fixed at an angle, which allows them to bear more weight than if they were vertical. A pair will be fixed to both ends of each level and will support two floors of the tower. All that's used to hold them in position are nuts and bolts, but these massive bolts can't be tightened with a spanner. They use an electric drill to make sure they're firmly in place. The next elements to be lifted into place are the pillars. These are made of steel too and weigh a whopping 24 tons each. They'll be fixed on top of each other in eight columns. They allow the weight of the tower to be channeled from the top straight down to the foundations where it can be absorbed. A crane driver lowers a section of column into position and the worker below has the daunting task of guiding it into place. The final piece of the framework is a colossal reinforced steel joist, known in the business as an RSJ. The RSJs sit on top of the struts and columns, and when they are welded to the rest of the frame, their incredible strength allows them to hold the whole structure together. Every day, up to 10 trucks full of concrete arrive at the site. It's hoisted up and then used to fill the steel columns. It doesn't only strengthen them, it also makes them fire resistant. The tower's floors are made of concrete too, but before it's added, the floor is reinforced with steel mesh. Down below, it's time for the windows to go in. They need to fit 125 of these massive panes on each floor. They're up against the clock, but it's not a job that can be rushed. Each one weighs 600 kilos. As soon as a floor has its windows in place, an army of interior fitters move in. Every job has to be done quickly and precisely. One delay from any one of them will slow everyone down and could have a knock-on effect on the whole project. When all of their work is done, they can fit the floor tiles. 13 months into the Mammoth project, all of the tower's floors are completed and they can hoist up the glass elevators. Each cabin weighs four and a half tons and has to be lifted right to the top of the 130 meter lift shaft. It takes a considerable time to get them to the top safely, but when they're operational, they'll be moving a lot faster, over 10 miles an hour. It'll take them just 25 seconds to ascend to the top of the tallest tower. The two towers look like they're completely finished, but they're going to be connected together. A series of bridges will link different floors so that the office workers will be able to move between them. 
A crane lifts one of the bridges up, but they need a guide rope so they can get it into position without smashing all the windows. At the top of the towers, a team are fixing a steel frame. It'll support an enormous fan of glass to top off the buildings. It's a special moment for all of the workers as they prepare for the final joist to be lifted into place. And they commemorate it in traditional style. It was a monumental task, but over 18 months, 1,500 workers have truly risen to the challenge. They've created two towers with 61 floors between them and a combined floor space of over 60,000 square meters.